Hi, this is Brad Peel on EatStopBeat.com, and today I want to talk to you about the idea of hypermetabolism. You know, a day doesn't go by that I don't get an email from somebody about boosting my metabolism. You know, and typically they're talking about boosting your metabolism through exercise. So, your total daily 24 hour energy expenditure, the amount of calories you burn in the day, including movement and exercise. To me, that's cool, it's legit. The other day I got one about boosting my basal metabolic rate, or my BMR. And that's the amount of calories it takes just, you know, to be alive, sitting on a couch, watching TV, resting. It's the calorie cost of all the chemical reactions to your body that it takes to be alive. And it sort of made me think, you know, do we actually want a higher basal metabolic rate? Is it even possible? And is it healthy? So I started looking into the upper limits of BMR, basal metabolic rate. What I found with research on something called hypermetabolism. What I found was very interesting. See, hypermetabolism, or having an extremely elevated basal metabolic rate, is associated with disease states, sepsis, burns, people with liver disease. Right? It's very hard to find any research on hypermetabolism in healthy people. In fact, you can only seem to be able to find hypermetabolism in a disease state. It's a marker of disease, it's correlated. It might be causing a disease, but for sure we know it's definitely correlated to disease. And it's correlated with organ failure. So while well, increasing your metabolic rate through exercise and just increasing the amount of calories you burn a day makes sense, trying to find ways to increase your basal metabolic rate, the amount of calories you're burning just at rest, it's an interesting concept because heightened elevated sorry, heightened basal metabolic rates seem to be associated with disease states. In other words, we don't know if it's possible to have a very elevated BMR and be healthy. And we don't know if even having an elevated BMR is healthy in general. So don't know if it's possible in a normal healthy person and don't know even if a normal healthy person were to get an elevated BMR, if it wouldn't lead to disease. So just another example of being aware of the type of markings out there and the concept that hypermetabolism may not actually be something you want. Definitely not something you probably want to pay somebody for. So I'm Brad Pilon, and that's just sort of a quick review on the concept of having a hypermetabolism.